Welcome everyone back to video number three in this short series. As I said before, there'll be 11, 12 counting the introduction. Just a brief review of where we are for those of you who just tuning into this for the first time. Everyone calls us and says the same thing. I studied my book, I took all the tests in school, I did very well. When I got to the state board exam, I felt like I had never seen most of those questions before. The other questions or remarks we hear from people is, Barber students will say, I felt like I was taking a cosmetology test. Cosmetology students will say, I felt like I was taking a barber test. They're all valid statements, okay? Addressing the, the questions which are not like in the book first. There are at least five different textbooks your test is coming out of. And I say at least five because really it can be six or seven. There are three different Milady cosmetology books they're using. The newest one is that red book. The previous one was a black book with nine women's pictures on the front. And the older one was a, woman, a red-headed woman on the front. The books contain different information and sometimes, unfortunately, even contradictory information. And yet there's three books they use. There's two barber books. There's the current one, sort of a grayish black with a man sitting on a bench, which I will say after 40 years in this industry is the best book they've ever put out for barber or cosmetology but they don't only use that book. They also use the older red, white, and blue book. Finally, they're not going to favor one company over another. The government is not going to pick out Milady, which is more professionally known as Cengage, C-E-N-G-A-G-E. -E. They also use a competitor company called Pivot Point, or also known as Salon Fundamentals. This is why you studied a lot, and when you got to the state board exam, you felt like you never saw the questions before. You didn't read seven textbooks. I guarantee nobody, including myself, when I was in school, read seven textbooks. Now, at this point in my life, I have read all seven textbooks numerous times, but this is the answer to why you feel like you've never seen these questions before. And you have a couple of choices. You can order all seven textbooks directly from Milady or Pivot Point or go to Amazon. It's about $200 a book, so you can spend $1,400 and read about 5,000 pages, maybe more, or you can get our book, Barber or Cosmetology. It's 125 pages. It's nothing but questions and answers. It's the questions and answers from your state board exam in your state. It gives you the question, four possible answer choices, just like on the exam, A, B, C, and D, Below that, it gives you the correct answer. And below that, it gives you the page in the textbook it came from. So if the question happens to have come from a textbook you didn't read, you no longer will walk into the test and feel like you're being asked questions you never saw before. You will see every question with the answer and the page number of the specific textbook it came from. Enough of that. Let's get into today's lesson. Today's lesson has to do with tools and equipment that you will be tested on. In no particular order, again, something they ask you is called, what is the use of a round tooth comb? Now I can tell you there is no textbook that talks about round toothed combs. This is what the state board exam calls industry knowledge questions. This is information not found in your textbook, but they feel you should know after a year in school. And if you don't know the answer to why you use a round tooth comb, once again, you can find it in our textbook, or you could simply spend an hour Googling round tooth combs and write down the 5,000 uses and try to figure out which one is the answer on your state board test. Or get our book and we'll tell you. The second thing is about brushes. Now there's many kinds of brushes, right? Go in Sally's or Cosmoprof, there's a whole aisle of hair brushes. What are they gonna ask on the test? They're gonna ask about the use of a round brush. What is it used for? The use of a vent brush. What is it used? What do you use a paddle brush for? And their current favorite, a boar bristle brush, B-O-A-R, like a kind of a wild pig, right? A wild boar, a boar bristle brush sometimes called a natural bristle brush, but nine times out of 10 on your test, it's called a bore bristle brush. So you've got four kinds of brushes you need to know the use of. Bore bristle, round, vented, and paddle. Now the other thing you need to understand is how to hold your shears. 
you wouldn't think there was that much to know. And this is an issue more for barbers than for cosmetologists because most barbers go through school and, well, I shouldn't say most, many barbers, manage to never do a sheer haircut until their state board exam comes up. And until they get their first job in a barbershop or a beauty salon, they have to do a haircut with shears. How do you hold them? The state board exam does not call these fingers and a thumb. They call them digits. D-I-G-I-T-S, the medical scientific Latin term, digits. Mm -hmm. They want to know which digit holds the moving blade of your shears, which digit holds the non-moving blade of your shears. And finally, thermal irons. Keep in mind, thermal is a nice fancy Latin word for heat, like a thermometer or a thermostat heat. Sometimes the question will talk about thermal irons. Sometimes it's more specific. It will say curling irons or flat irons or pressing combs. All of these things get hot. They're called thermal irons. Curling irons have two kinds. There's the spring iron and the Marcel iron. The spring iron is the one most people are familiar with. It's much easier to use. True professionals use the Marcel iron. It gets hotter. It works faster. You will be expected to understand both. And the questions generally go to how do you avoid burning a client's scalp? How to avoid burning a client's hair? Now, I strongly advise everyone to go to our website, www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com. It's long, but it's pretty simple. We have a bunch of free tests there for cosmetologists, barbers, estheticians, and nail technicians. Go to our website, take the free tests, read the testimonials, read the questions and answers people send us that we answer on our website. And if you need more information, get our question and answer book or give us a call for private tutoring. The private tutoring is six classes. Each class is one hour in length. We will go in painfully great detail on everything I talk about quickly in these videos because I don't have an hour to do this video. Six classes, each class is one hour in length. It's less money than taking your test and failing it 14 times, which is the current highest number I've heard from anybody, 14 times. He would have been a lot richer and saved a lot of money had he just called us after the first or second failure. Okay? The price is very reasonable. We go step by step through every chapter. You'll take a highlighter or a pen and we'll tell you exactly on each page what to highlight. Okay? Give us a call, 760-534-4434. Thank you and hope to see you soon.